Hey, congratulations. Thank I you. salute your courage. Yes, it so. is not easy. Mm. Hey. Yes, so. Thank, Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Mm. Hey. Hey, hey, mommy. Na. Anya. Anya mum 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 I must make one. 850. Okay. Uh, Let me give you change. Uh, you see change there. Hi, now. Mama. Huh? Hi. Hey. Have you eaten? Thank you. Come on, Come on, Hi. Hey. No, bye bye. Huh? Hey. People have not eaten. You've no. not gotten home. No, we came straight from the park. But no line, no line. Let me go. No, 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 no. Don't worry, we are fine. We just hey. said to come and see you when we get home. I can't wait to taste your cooking. Let me close my shop. I don't want to know. What else? Huh? No, no, no. Let me close my shop. Just close my shop. Hey! You're fine. Let me close my shop. Let me close my shop. Hey! You're fine. So let me get you some. No, Mama, I'm okay. What will get to now? But one minute. Okay, bring water. Hi. Mama, how is Abashi the bear? They are fine. He's there. Eh! Mommy, stick tight. Adwoya. Mommy, stick tight. Hey, I am now a fulfilled woman. God, I thank you for keeping me alive to see my children as graduates. Father, I glorify your name. Be thou exalted, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mom, don't worry, eh? Very soon, all your suffering will be over. The God that saw us through the four walls of the university will see us through in securing well-paid jobs and everything will be fine. Hey, my children. Everything is fine already. Mom, hmm? just relax. You'll be envied by all in all this time time. I promise you that because you deserve all life has to offer. You are the best mom in the world. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's a compliment also both of you. You are the best children in this whole world. I will always be there for you. No, Mom, you've always been there for us from the onset. Now it's our turn to be there for you. Hmm? We promise to make you proud. Yes. <laughs> Hi, God. I give God all gratitude. When I thought that all hope was lost, God brought you my way. It's you. okay, Mom. It's okay. Mommy, it's okay now. Uh -uh. <laughs> there are tears of joy. <laughs> Mom, <clears throat> Mom, just that laugh at us. <laughs> we celebrate with us soon. Hi, Mom. I'm full. No, you cannot be full. You have to finish it. I'll still bring more. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mom, you know I don't eat much like you and Chairman now. Uh, <laughs> see your hair mouth. Me and you who eat fast. <laughs> you know you eat more now. Before I finish one, eating half of the plate. Go away! Chairman is right. Chairman is very She's right. She's not right, she eats a lot. You too. And maybe when I was a kid, now she, she's something else. Kai! Mom, you're good. We are good. Mm. Yes, talk to him. Yeah, you get to me first. <laughs> Hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear Chi. You're back. How did the interview go? Fine. Just that. It took me off guard. It wasn't what I expected at all. <laughs> How? What happened? Interviewed by what seems like a panel of inquiries. <laughs> ah, why are you laughing now? Panel of inquiries, indeed. <laughs> Do you know that out of six people that interviewed me, three are professors yeah. from Institute of Shattered Accountants, Nigeria. Yeah, but I'm sure you proved to them you're my twin sister. Uh, uh, why are you talking as if you don't know your sister? You know what I can do now. Uh -huh. I know your sister now. That's eh? my sis. That's the idea. <laughs> I did my best. The rest are God's business. That's good. I know it will come out fine. Let's just be positive. So, okay. any news from the shopping mall? Yeah, they they fixed the interview for tomorrow, so I'll be going there tomorrow. Well, it's well. Cool. So, what did you cook for your sister? Hmm? What did you cook for your sister? <laughs> now, unfortunately, that question should be kept for your future husband. I am your brother. You see, Aki? So you, you don't know you're supposed to learn from me, eh? On how to treat your wife. You don't even know how to cook. So just go in there and fix whatever rubbish you want to do. And get yourself fed. Let me go and look for what to eat. Alright, and mine too. Come on, what? Stop it. You eat what? You're my sister now. You are not serious. See, if you come, come out here with just your food, I will devour it. I swear. Share your table with you. As much as I don't own this place, there are many other vacant tables from which you can choose one for yourself and relax. I'm sorry, I know that. Does that I? I was seated over there for over 30 minutes and observing you. I think something is bothering you. You, you look disturbed. I mean, you've been thinking, sitting all alone with a bottle of water you've not even touched. Can you share? You know they say a problem shared is a problem half solved. Sorry, forgive my manners. My name is Fred. 
I went for a job interview down the street, so I thought to pop in here and take a bottle of drink. You're not talking. Listen, Fred or whatever you call yourself, the world will be a better place if you mind your business and stop encroaching into other people's businesses. I have a lot of things to do with a very limited time. So please, if you don't mind, be the gentle guy you pretend to be and choose which one of us leaves this table for the other. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to irritate you. I'll leave, it's your table. Just that I felt you were bothered and I needed to talk to you. Just said to come give you a piece of advice. I think you need someone to talk to. Perhaps a friend, someone you can confide in. I don't know what is bothering you, but you know. You know what it is. Just find someone to talk to. Hey, you appear depressed. You look like, like there's something eating you up, like there's a bug. I know it's a huge Hey, 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 please stop! Security! Security! Hey, 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 wait, wait. Talk to somebody. This is not you. Even your attitude towards me is borrowed. I can see that. Security! I, I know this is not you. I can't take my reputation. Uh, what is matter? Nothing. Wait. Sorry? The young man that just left. Call him back for me. Someone wants to see you inside. Someone? Yeah. Who's that? You'll find out when we get inside. <laughs> I hope there's no problem. Mm, there's no problem. Meanwhile, I can choose not to come. Okay, let's go. I want to apologize for the embarrassment I caused you earlier. Please don't be angry. I'm really very sorry and when I mean sorry, I mean I'm really, really sorry. It's okay. I don't hold it against you. I believe you acted the way you did because of the gravity of whatever was weighing you down. right? Yeah. I'm Sandra. My pleasure to come and meet you. Same here. Like you said earlier, the attitude I displayed towards you, I borrowed it. That wasn't really me. I've accepted your advice to talk to someone. Good. That's very good. Please try to talk to somebody and make sure whoever you're talking to is someone who has your interest at heart. Okay? Yeah. He does. Good. Fred? Yeah? You're the person I want to talk to. Me? Are you sure about that? I have no one else to talk to. I am not the associative type. But you barely know me. What difference does it make? You've already seen through my heart. Every other person would have thought I was waiting for my boyfriend, but you felt my plight. I 
Okay, all right. I'm listening. I have everything that life needs to be worth living. Except good health. Ah, I'm sorry about that, okay? I wish there was something I could do to revert it. But I want you to know it's not the end of the world. God never promised us a battle-free life. But we are assured of victory if we keep faith. I want you to be strong. Many people are going through worse situations than you are. Just be positive, live your life normally. And I tell you, one day you might just wake up and you won't find it again. So, anyway, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for your concern. I, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you. You're welcome, Nita. Um, I have to go now. No, please, I, I have to offer you something. I'm, I'm so sorry I should have done that first. No, 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 I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm all right. I plead. Okay, if you say so. Um, yeah, it's my card. Okay then. Have a nice day. Thank you. Excuse me, Fred. You don't seem to me like someone who would call. <laughs> what makes you think so? I guess I've read your heart as well. Ah, uh, well, you are not wrong. Neither are you right. In English, it's called contradiction. It's also known as the facts. I am so overwhelmed with joy. You can say that again. My children are now graduates. <sighs> I told you. Didn't I? I told you that the major problem will be then getting admission into the university first. <sighs> Every other thing that follows becomes God's business as long as you still have faith in Him. Ne, our God is able to take care of our problems anytime, any day. You said so. Yes. <laughs> hey! I have <sighs> seen and believed that God is more than able to take care of our problems. Yes, sir. Uh... Eh? Look at how he has lifted me. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you. So, <sighs> you are they should be at home, I guess. Although Fred went for his interview, job interview this morning. Mm. <laughs> no, you mean job interview? Yeah. Even Chioma went for her own yesterday. We are just believing God for positive results. You don't need to panic. They will definitely get the jobs. They are brilliant, you know. I pray so. Manaviki. Mm. My success story will not be complete without you. God used you as an instrument to lift me. Mm, but God first is able to care for our problems anytime, any day. I believe in him. Thank you. I love that man so much. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, 
Stop this phone thing. Let's play game. <laughs> You're not playing like you can play game, eh? And what kind of chair is this? The what? Let me get another chair. That's your problem. You like sit on it that way. So you I don't know you are supposed to get chair from your sister? You will. Well, because we came out the same day, therefore I should get chair for you. See, this was the ladies' first blah blah blah. Do the thing, let me show you the stuff I'm made of. Ah, here, yeah. mouth maker. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Mm. Let me beat you the way I used to. Yeah. Don't play now. Ah, <laughs> now. Play what? Okay. I need triangle. Uh. Fred, hmm? how was the interview? Ah, was just there. Nothing special. Well, well, though I didn't expect them to ask me such trivial questions. Nothing serious. They were just asking me how I'd be able to handle a company or any position if I was given it. Not even a single technical question. <coughs> Can you imagine? So you were busy expecting technical questions? Ah, ah. If they don't ask technical questions, how would they know the competence of whoever they want to employ? <sighs> Fred, see, relax. The job is yours. Amen. That's my sister, but please stop the cheating, Sha. Please stop that. I don't want that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Play, ah! Joe. How about you? Play game. Last card. Just, uh, I, I passed through the garden and I saw you taking some drinks. Oh, that. I think I have enough now, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I stopped by your office earlier today and your secretary said you left unannounced. I hope there's no problem. No problem. I just needed some time alone. Everything's okay? Sure, Dad. Good, good. All right, then. I'll leave it to your toys and uh, mm -hmm. I'll take myself to bed. <laughs> okay. Good night, Dad.
Uh, Madam, now the thing where you say make I remember for you. Okay, which thing? Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, it escaped my mind. How much did you say it cost? Six thousand there. Six thousand. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Stop calling me, madam. All right, madam. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Sorry. Was reference to the CBN directive and we are clear. Okay, good. So you will um, you send a copy of this to the Ministry of Finance as soon as possible. Okay? So um Miriam. How is your husband? He's fine. That wasn't convincing. Are you sure all is well? He all is well. He's okay. Okay, just that I remember he used to come around once in a while, but that has not happened for quite some time now. He's very much busy this time around. Okay, you can go. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, Auntie Sandra. How are you doing? What are you doing over there? I gave um, you a 30 minute warning you? before that. I'm fine. I... Where you are is kind of noisy. I can barely hear you. Personnel, Mr. Bauer, there are <laughs> some circumstances. I'm like, I did try to tell the president. It's more complicated than. So, which movie are you seeing now? 24 hours. Ooh, Jack Bauer. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so much in love with that guy, you know. I can't see you. I just hope you don't turn Sandra Bauer. <laughs> Are you scared? No, not really. I don't have anything to be scared about. It's just that um, that guy doesn't have friends. Friendship to him is secondary. Yeah, so I'd rather not have anything to do with anybody that thinks the way he does. Oh, well, you don't seem to be like someone who gets scared easily. 
Anyway, can can I have some of some of your time tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, um, for lunch maybe. Um, I don't think I can make it. Isn't it something we can discuss over the phone? No. I know you're just trying to protect your pride. Well, please, I need to talk to a friend, so can you give me some of your time? You won't stop to amaze me. I guess that's what we have in common then. Okay then, let's say 2 p.m. tomorrow, is that cool by you? Yes, 2 p.m. is fine. So we meet at the mall then. Alright, bye. Alright, uh, good night. Bye. <sighs> what? What? She's just a friend I met at the mall. She's a nice person. Did I ask? No, you didn't. So why are you telling me? Because I know you want to know. How? It's because you were staring at me. And with what did you see me? <laughs> stop, naughty boy. You have started again, eh? Oh, please mm -hmm. stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Keep your butt here. Fred, yeah. stop. <laughs> Hey, you, you're here. Hi, uh, Fred. Hey, Fred. Good day, Sandra. Well, uh, so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's okay, no problem. So, what do I offer you? Fred. Yeah? I invited you to this place, so it's my responsibility to do that. So, what will you take? Ah, uh, well, as you can see, I'm doing justice to this bottle of water. So, what would you take? Water? Are you sure you're okay with that? Very okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, she says so. So, so how's your health? Better. Ah, I'm glad to know that. What did you study in school? Economics, and you? Accountancy. Ah, oh, wow. My twin sister studied accountancy. Your twin? Wow, that's amazing. So where is she? Ah, uh, she should be at home. Okay. That's great. I love twins, you know. Yeah. Twins that I prefer you to be like uh, same sex, you know. Twin boys, twin girls. That's oh, just get this I, 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 I get your preference. <laughs> so what's her name? Your twin sister? Chioma. Chioma. Anyway, um, okay. this is why we are here. So, take it. Go through it. If you like the content, give me a call. Okay. Yes. 
have to be on my way right now. Just I'll like see that. you some other time. Yes, just go through it. If the content is okay for you, just give me a call. Wait, let me go through it. No, 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 not yet. Just go through it later. If you like the content, give me a call. All right, so I'll have to be on my way now. See you some other time. Okay, cool. Take care. Yeah. Bye. You are happy like this, like someone that wants your for. Dry those hands. Must I wipe my hand? Wipe them dry first. Mm, it's okay. So, what is it? Now read this later. When you're done, tell me the content. You've started, though. Good evening, Fred. Good evening, Ma. I would prefer you call me my name, please. I don't like to be addressed in that manner. Okay, I I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. Better. So, is the content of the letter acceptable to you? Yes. Actually, that's the reason I called, to tell you I've accepted and I'm very, very grateful. I mean, we've known barely two weeks and you're able to change my life like this and repose this much confidence in me. May God bless you, ma. You're welcome. I promise to discharge my duties with all the physical and intellectual capabilities of me. I won't fail you. Well, I don't take promises, so I don't get disappointed when they are not fulfilled. Uh, I love Actually, a promise per se, just to reciprocate a good deed. We are saying the same thing. Anyway, thanks. You're welcome. Um, Fred, I have to go now. I'm going through some visibility study. See you at the office next week. Okay, but um, my my sister sends her regard. Oh, Chioma, right? Yes. Okay, is she there with you? 
Yeah, she's just lying beside me. Let me speak with her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Good evening, Chioma. Same to you there. How are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. You know, um, Fred told me about you and uh, to be frank with you, um, I'm delighted speaking with you. Oh, same here. We can't thank you enough for putting a smile on our faces. We would be eternally grateful. Chioma. Yes, dear. I don't know what you're talking about. Fred just got himself a job in my company. And that's because he possesses the expertise to occupy the position. Yes, I know. But he got the job because you believed in him. You're just like your brother. Thank you. Anyway, hope to see you soon. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, have a wonderful night rest. You too. Bye. Mm, thick. She's nice. Yeah, I'm extremely principled. Fred. Fred. Oh. Are you sure you are not? You are you? not what? Nothing. <laughs> Shaki. Look at you. She mango. Just check our head now. Which one is bigger? Your head is bigger than mine. That's why you cover it with that. Go and get the tape inside the room. Let's Look at what you're covering your head with. You're saying your head is smaller. Which one is your own? Let's check which one is bigger. Please leave me. Ishiaki. Just rest. Ishiaki. <laughs> so excited over the phone <laughs> like someone who won multi-million naira contracts <laughs> i can't wait to hear the good news so tell me what is it this time hey nah. mm -hmm. only win a contract akaron 
Abi. <laughs> you see this our God? Yes. He is awesome. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Say it again. The beginning and the end. He is the God of the forgotten. Oh. How excellent is your name, oh God. Join me. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. Oh God. How excellent is your name, oh How excellent is your name, oh How excellent is your name, oh God. How excellent is your name, yeah. How excellent is your name, oh How excellent is his name. Oh, oh God! Hmm. Vicky, no. if not for the fear of spraining my waist, I would have danced the dance that your mother taught me. Oh. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Hell, Fred is now gainfully employed. Are you serious? <laughs> <sighs> hey! God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I told you that very soon your storms shall be over. And indeed, they are over. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. If not for the fact that God was with time, I would have said that your happiness is long overdue. You deserve it. You deserve it, my dear. Hey! Vicky, Nemo. it is just by his grace and his infinite mercy. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, I give you all the glory. Yes, this is just the beginning, no? you know? When God remembers a man, it is marvelous in the sight of men. Let's say <sighs> God has brought your book. And I can tell you with conviction, he has opened the first page. Amen. Believe me, when he opens the next page, everybody, I mean everybody will like to identify with you. Just believe me. Amen. That's Death, you are weak. If only a maker was here. I know. I know. Just that okay. 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 <sighs> Don't just bring the past event of 25 years ago. Remember, you kept the details of his death from the children. I know why you're crying. You wish he was here to partake in your blessings. But if you continue with such wish, in no distant time, the children will start suspecting that their father's death is not ordinary. Okay? Okay? This is not what they need now. They need to forge ahead, Biko. Oh? Wipe out your tears, okay? I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate you. You can just share up. If a man you more, love more. Oh, 
I ask you for the last time, why did you kill our son? Before your husband will be buried tomorrow, the Umwadas will gather. They will bathe your, his body and after that, the water from it shall be given to you to drink. Then, after you must have drank the water, he will sleep on his grave till dawn. So, all these years of our friendship, I grew up with you, Emeka. I did everything with you, Emeka. Eh? All you could pay me with was to snatch my, my, my girlfriend, the Norma, from, from me. I'm here because of one reason. Emeka has refused to see me. He says I'm causing problems between you and him. Tell me right now, I'm here, that you do not want me, and I'll be gone forever. If anyone prophesied to me that, I'll pass through such mess. I will call that prophet. Everything you say, I will spur a word 
I saw some workers cutting grasses in my farmland. Stop! Who asked you to, to cut the grass? Yes, I did. What about it? Onyo Shiana! Onyo Shiana! Mani ye zu chan kofa! Onyo Shiana! Onyo Shiana! Onyo Shiana! You will see. You will see. Mazi! What are you doing? You don't need to pass this. Mazi, it's okay. Mazi, it's okay. Mama, mama, please, please. Mama, excuse me. No, mama, my daughter is already married to the prince. I mean, he was, sir. I'm no bureau. The prince. I didn't come to this world and choose to be poor. No, I, I didn't choose to be poor. Olivia, you are news. So if actually my son had wanted you to travel with him, would you have gone looking like this? Definitely not. I accept my sympathy and my apology. I've lost the mood to think. How do you expect me to like her? She's the reason Cleo doesn't see my son anymore. I'm going there to tell him that he won't be seeing me as he used to see me. Did Olivia come here to me? Oh my prince. We're supposed to keep him alive, not to kill him. I want you to sing for me. You were not born this way. I will not live this way. Circumstances of life has caused you your side. And I know what I pray I will achieve. Grant you back your sight, and I know one day you will look at me and recognize who I am. Operating. Has Jimmy told you how much he gave to that girl that comes here to deceive you people under the guise that she sings for him because of his condition? But if you don't marry this girl, it will definitely jeopardize the relationship between both families. And you know what it means. This woman here said that you killed her husband. You have to hear me out. I did not do it. Okay, so what happened? Did my father commit suicide? Did he kill himself? Tell me. What happened? What are you doing here? Hey, you're going to swipe here. What are you here? No, just wait, wait. Emeka, I am your father and your mother right here beside me. If you don't tell us the truth, tell me who on earth will tell the truth. Are you telling me there is nothing you can do at all? <laughs> if that boy doesn't die, I'm in trouble. People <laughs> will do something. If I could be close beside
Tell you that I've been waiting for you. Mama, you need to be there because Noma insulted him to the core. She even told him she's engaged with someone who wants to marry her. By his side. You did lose your sight. I believe you will see again. There's every chance that you see again. That's the reason I like you, Olivia. Optimism. So, this is how you want to play it. Your game was old school. Mine is new school. So, just let me do my thing. He's not even answering my calls or returning my SMSs. It's not like I've been folding my arms or relaxing. No. I, I really want my son to marry you so that my noble family and yours will be more united. Mother here is always making me feel like a child. Of course you're my child. And you will forever remain my child too. Please, I'm looking for one girl. Olivia. Now the same thing. Me, where you see here, since yesterday, now woman I wait for. He get one girl when I call. Now she here from my place, come find since yesterday. I they call her for food up to now. She never. She tell me say she they call. She they call. Now here I sleep. Yo, Olivia.
sounded so excited over the phone. <laughs> like someone who won multi-million naira contract. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the good news. So tell me, what is it this time? Hey! Ne. Mm -hmm. Only win a contract, Akaron. Abi. <laughs> you see this our God? Yes. He is awesome. Ooh. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Oh, Say it again. The beginning and the end. He is the God of the forgotten. Oh. How excellent is your name, oh God. Join me. How excellent is your name, oh Lord. Oh God. How excellent is your name, oh How excellent is your name, How excellent is your name, oh God. How excellent is your name? Yeah. How excellent is your name? Hey, How, How excellent, excellent is, is your name? name. Oh, oh God. God. <clears throat> Vicky, mm -hmm. if not for the fear of spraining my waist, I would have danced the dance that your mother taught me. Hey. <laughs> hey, <no qu> Hell, <laughs> Fred is now gainfully employed. Are you serious? <laughs> <sighs> hey! God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I told you that very soon, your storms shall be over. And indeed, they are over. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> If not for the fact that God was with time, I would have said that your happiness is long overdue. No, you deserve it. You deserve it, my dear. Hey! Vicky, Nemo. it is just by His grace and His infinite mercy. Mm -hmm. Lord, I, I give you all the glory. Yes, this is just the beginning, of, you know? When God remembers a man, it is marvelous in the sight of men. Let's say God has brought your book. And I can tell you with conviction, He has opened the first page. Amen. Believe me, when He opens the next page, everybody, I mean everybody will like to identify with you. Just believe me. Death, you are wicked. If only Emeka was here. I know. I know. Don't start speaking. Okay? Okay? You don't just bring the past event of 25 years ago. Remember you kept the details of his death from the children. I know why you're crying. You wish he was here to partake in your blessings. But if you continue with such wish, in no distant time, the children will start suspecting that their father's death is not ordinary. Okay? Okay? This is not what they need now. They need to forge their heads, Biko. Oh? Why about your tears, okay? I appreciate you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate you. You can just share up. Share up. Fred. Yeah? I'm confused about something in respect of your appointment later. <laughs> How could that be? Appointment letters naturally contain the welfare packages of the employee, salary structures, and the entitlement. Why is he excluded? Or did you have a verbal agreement with her about that? That's exactly what I meant when I told you Sandra was smart. I believe she purposely left all those packages out to see if I would raise them, if I would ask her about it. Do you think so? It's not about what I think, it's about what's at play here. She kind of left them out to see how money-driven I am. 
that's my thought anyways. Let's hope that's the case, Fred. Yeah, I believe so. See, I'm serious about this thing I'm going to ask you. And I need a sincere answer. <laughs> I know where you're driving at. Where am I driving at? Mr. Sutsi. I'm not romantically involved with her. I know you'll be wondering how come somebody I knew barely two weeks ago is able to trust me this much and uh, give me such a sensitive position. But the truth is, we just clicked. Okay? Okay, there's something I didn't tell you. Sandra has chronic asthma. You remember the day I told you we met at the mall? Yes. She was just there seated, thinking about her life. When I came in, I observed her. I, I saw how how quiet she was, so I approached her, trying to raise a discussion. But she blocked me, sent me away. She actually embarrassed me, that's the truth. So I kindly gave her some words of advice and left. So she sent one of the security guards to call me back. When I got back there, she was surprised I was able to identify her mood and all that. That's how we became friends. Why I'm curious is that, considering the sensitivity of your position and that of her, anything beyond casual friend between both of you will cripple the company. I know, Achi. I'm not dumb. I understand perfectly. To be sincere, I'll be glad if anything will go on between both of you uh -huh. in the future. But for now, it's not advisable, Fred. Okay, Your Majesty. Noted. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh, yeah. So come, who is that guy that always calls you on the phone? Which guy? The one you usually run into the toilet to pick his calls. Stop, I know you're jealous. Yeah? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is my privilege to introduce to you the new public affairs manager in the person of uh, Mr. Fred Moyer. Fred, meet uh, Miriam. Miriam is our company's manager. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, that is John. John is our auditor. And Oluchi. Oluchi is the head of um, customer care unit. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And Jennifer. Jennifer is our financial analyst. Nice to meet you. Same here. Okay, so. You can all get back to your offices. Wow, what an impressive staff you have here. Tell mom I'm already late for work. Fred, wait. Uh, what are you going to You didn't give me the money. Oh, oh yes. Okay, what will happen is this. Collect from mom and tell her I'll refund her when I'm back. All right. Okay, yeah. Let's the floor. Chicka, chicka. You are only here. Stop playing. <laughs> Something came up. Is Madame at the office? Yeah, she's upstairs. Okay. You're welcome.
Good morning, madam. You sent for me, ma. Why did you come late? I'm sorry. I had... Listen, Fred. We are not here for child's play. If you are not ready to work here, let me have your resignation letter on my desk before the day runs out. Do you understand me? Madam, I am not feeling... I am not interested in your explanation. This shouldn't repeat itself. Okay, ma. Leave my office. Yeah, hello, this is Fred, the Public Affairs Manager of TransServe International Company. I'm calling in respect of your publication about my company being blacklisted by the Public Assets Commission. Listen to me, I want you to retract that statement in your tomorrow's publication and two other days. I don't understand why a company of repute as yours would stoop so low to publish such fallacy. Listen. We demand an immediate retraction of such statements in your tomorrow's publication and in two other dailies. Failing to do so, you leave us with no other option than to sue for defamation. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, I have informed the legal department in case they fail to comply. Good. You should have sent for me instead of you come into my office. Am I not welcome in your office? <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I <laughs> no. It's your establishment after all. You are free to barge into any office you like. So what's your point then? My point being that you don't have to stretch yourself all the way to my office. You could just give me a call and there I am right in your office. Well, um, I actually came to apologize for yesterday. I overreacted. I guess I turned out uh, Sandra Boa. <laughs> I just wasn't in my best of mood. Nah, nah, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't owe me any apology because your reaction wasn't like. You know, if you didn't react the way you did yesterday, your workers will take you for granted, and that's not very healthy for the growth of the company. Thanks for your understanding. Um, since tomorrow is Saturday, can we have lunch together? Uh, that's fine, that's cool by me. Okay, I would love to formally meet your twin sister, Chuck. Hey. <laughs> Alright then, I'll let her know about that. Okay, so I... in my office then. Okay. Okay. I, I've been waiting to hear you say something about this um, this outcome of crap. And since you're not saying anything, I need to ask you, what is going on? Don't worry, Dad. It's nothing I can handle. It's just one, one stupid journalist who thought he could make a name by rubbishing my company's image. And that doesn't mean anything to you? your problem is. You're scared we'll start losing customers as a result of their false publication. Just relax, okay? We have um, we have given them an ultimatum to apologize publicly tomorrow. Else we will take a steep legal action against them. My new employee is good at the job. Okay? Uh, a public affairs manager. Mm -hmm. Fred. Please. He's intelligently endowed with a knowledge of corporate politics. Hmm. Uh, no, that's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. So, it's nothing to worry about. Okay.
And the young woman in the other accounts. Yeah, she is. Good, good. Yeah, finally, you both have met. Choma, that's Sandra, my boss in the office. Sandra, that's my twin sister, Choma. It's my honor to finally meet you, Choma. It is my honor to. Uh, Fred told me you studied accountancy. Yes, I did. I studied the same course too. Wow, that's great. So, how was life in the campus? It was as usual, you know, campus, fun and stress. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What was your GP? Second class opera. And what of you? Wow, I had the same two one. Hey. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Great. What of you actually like? <laughs> <laughs> If I have any legal ground to reject this, to be honest with you, I will. Do you know why? Because you are indispensable and irreplaceable. It was a hard decision, man. I wish I'm never in a position to make such a decision. But one thing I don't appreciate is the fact that you want to keep me in the dark over your intention to leave. Don't you work for me, Miriam. But over the years, we've been more like sisters. I just, I just think I deserve to know. I up all about my marriage. I can't cope up with both. It's okay. I will talk to you later. It's an honor working with you, man. Thank you very much. Same here. The company will sure miss you. Thank you. to head an economic task force of a nation with an objective of coming up with a report to address its economic problems in the face of the present globalization. What would be your first step? <laughs> You're not a journalist, are you? Answer my question. Okay, don't mind me. Just that the question was bullet like the type you get from a professional journalist. The truth is, the solution to every problem lies in identifying its root cause. If I were given such a mandate, what I would do is to pick my team and we'll crack into it to identify the reasons. In doing that, we streamline it to two basic questions. First, is to identify if the economic problems of the nation are as a result of global economic recession. Secondly, is to know if they are as a result of failure to implement good economic policies. If you have the answers to those two questions, then the solution is right there on the table. Hmm. Interesting. Uh -huh. 
You are promoted. You are now the general manager of Transverse Financial Services. What happened to Miriam? She resigned. You will get your official car next week, as well as your official residence. <laughs> I didn't expect this. God, I am, I'm grateful. Thank you very much. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you very much, madam. I promise not to disappoint you. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> God bless you, ma'am. You're welcome. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> said anything something like what your perception about first promotion my perception yeah my dear I don't have anything to say she owns the company she has the right to choose whoever she likes oh but Jennifer is not fair the next manager should have been picked between you and John I mean, Fred, I just worked with us not less than two months. And he has been promoted to be our manager. No. Like I said, Olichi, Sandra has the right to do whatever she likes. Since she has decided to give the position to her lover boyfriend, so be it. There is nothing anybody can do about it. Do you think they are emotionally involved? <laughs> Olichi, it's not about what I think. It's about what is going on. My dear, they are secretly dating each other. It's just that they are covering it because they work together. With the manner in which she promotes him, what other evidence do you need? They are dating a babe. God, I suspected it. I suspected it. Listen, we just have to live with the embarrassment. Leave it for them. They know what they are doing. That guy must be a smart player. Hmm. Hmm. Before, Uncle, do you need me to read it out for you? <sighs> and he pretends to be nice. <laughs> All I know is that the guy is just after her wealth. Nothing else. I beg. Oh, we'll talk to when there is neighbor. All I am after is my salary. As long as it keeps coming. What else do I need? Walk there and receive my salary and go home. I beg. Do I really need to pick you tomorrow? <sighs> I'll call you. Don't worry. Thanks, dear. All right. Take care. She did. Mm. Mm. What a shame. Did she tell you why? The job was interfering in her marriage, so she decided to quit. What a shame. She's such a good worker. Have you found someone to replace her now? I mean, someone competent enough to take over? Yeah, it's been taken care of. I promoted Fred, the, the public affairs manager. Fred, you just employed him not long ago. You think that's a good decision? Yes, Dad. Fred is a very good economist. Now that Miriam is gone, trust me, he's more than a perfect replacement. Oh, see that. 
Not that I don't trust your judgment, but she needs to know something. See, emotional attachment and business does not work together. It doesn't mix. It's like what I feel it doesn't mix. Dad, I employed Fred on a professional ground. I am not emotionally attached to him. Hmm. He's just a nice guy that everybody will want to have as a friend, doesn't he? Okay. Well, if you say he's good at the job, then um, you have my consent. Thank you, Dad. house and an official car so I want to present all the package to mom as a huge surprise oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I knew we were gonna get this so yes. I'm so glad oh, stop. <laughs> so now get ready for some good time yes. oh, I'm gonna get up. Um, how much do you know about this uh, new employee in the office, uh, Fred? Uh, well, sir, I don't know a thing about him because before now, his job description and mine were not closely related. Mm. But now that he's been made the manager of the company, we will be directly involved with each other. I see. Do you think he is uh, qualified for this position? With all due respect, sir, I think your daughter is in a better position to answer the question. Hmm. Right, right. So, do you think they are romantically involved? There is a reason to believe that they are romantically involved because he's the only person in that office that received a preferential treatment from your daughter and he's the only person your daughter goes to his office instead of inviting him over mm. like she does to every other staff. Hmm. Oh, I see. I, I want you to do me a favor. Anything, sir. Good. Good. I want you to find out for me everything about how romantically involved they are, you know, and uh, get back to me. I, I will reward you handsomely. All right, sir. Okay. I'll do just that. Can I? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, 
Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. What's up? Hi there. Okay, and you? I'm fine. You're not looking bad. Big, big. Just do. She thought Bina is beginning to suspect this looks like. Wait. How do you know about that? Hmm. He called me and tasked me to keep my eyes on them and to gather information if they are romantically involved. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but you should have told him they are seeing each other. No, no, no. That would be too fast. Anyway. I only told him that I'm suspecting both of them because he's the only person who received preferential treatment from his daughter above every other person here in this office. So when next I meet with him, I'll do what ought to be done. No Jesus Christ. <laughs> but wait, though. you mean you met with him one-on-one? -on -one? Ah, before Uncle. Hmm. Jeez. Come in. Very sharp girl. Mm. Mm. Tell me again. I beg, make a report to what we're signing. I'll talk with you over lunch. You're welcome. <laughs> hey! The sick. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Have you heard anything from the company that interviewed you the other time? Um, yes. I was about telling you. The woman that owns the company called me this morning. Oh. Uh -huh. What did she say? She demanded to see you. See me? What have I got to do with the interview? She wants to verify every information I give about myself as it relates to my background. Okay. When does she want me to see her? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we'll go. Thank you, Mom. Tomorrow. One more thing. Has your brother said anything about marriage? Ah, uh -uh, mom, it's too early. I know he's the only son, but he's still a young boy. Hmm. That is what you think. It's not what I think. It's just the fact. But what is he still waiting for? Mom, let him be. When the time comes, he will marry. <clears throat> huh? So how did it go? Trust me. I told her that the woman that owns the company that interviewed me wants to see her tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> Funny enough, that wasn't the trick intended to use on her. But we were watching outside when she asked me if I've gotten any response from the company. I hijacked the privilege and told her that the woman that owns the company want to see me tomorrow alongside my mother. Hey! This girl, you are bad. I've always told you are a bad girl. See your life because I want to help you. <laughs> see, ask you. Naughty girl! Naughty boy. Uh -huh. Guess what mom asked me? What did she ask? She asked me if you have at any point in time shared with me your intention to settle down. Hey, see this woman. <laughs> Though I didn't agree with her at that time, but I saw sense in her position. I think you have to start putting it into consideration. Okay then, why don't you get me a wife? I've got one already. Who? Sandra. <laughs> why did you laugh? What's so funny? <laughs> Do you are not romantically involved with her? Or see it this way. Mm. You are the only male friend she had. If you can win her heart, believe me, both of you will make perfect combination. Hey. Mm. Hmm. 
Anyways, I'll get married very soon. But definitely not Sandra. Why? Juma, it's later. Sleep. I have a busy schedule tomorrow. Good night. Good night too. Thank you. I'll be able to switch on that TV. Change. Yes, Mom. Chama lied to you so we could present it to you as a surprise. Fred. Mom. Because Mom will Hey, but Slap me. No, Mom. No, no, no. Chama. Chama, wake me up. Mom, you are awake. Mom. Mom, stop. Mom, Mom. Mom, sit down. God has blessed us. Mom, this is our house. You have suffered enough. Mom, be happy. Okay. <laughs> mama, the okay. mama. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, good day, sir. I'm fine, sir. Yes, sir, I'm okay. I've confirmed that Fred is secretly dating your daughter. Yes, sir. I personally, I don't see anything wrong in it, so. Uh, sir, from what I've gathered, I think he's a green snake under the green grass. He might be after your daughter's wealth and that of yours too. You know, considering her position as the only child of the family. Okay, sir. All right. All right, sir. Uh, nice talking with you, sir. Okay, sir. Bye. See tomorrow, okay? And we just see tomorrow. Alright. So, Sandra, how was your day at work? Work was good. Mm -hmm. And uh, your new manager, how is he doing? Mm. Fred. That Fred is doing great. You know, I'm beginning to understand that Miriam's resignation was of a huge benefit to the company. Honestly, Fred turned everything around for better. I see. Well, you seem to be full of praises of this young man. Why not invite him to dinner someday? For real? Okay. <laughs> that, when, when do you want me to invite him? Well, tomorrow will be okay if, uh, if he's available. Wow, well, tomorrow? Okay. Okay, I, I will. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sandra, you're you are excited. Yes, Dad, I am. Dad, you will also be delighted to meet Fred. He's a genius, Dad. Fred is a blessing to my company. Okay. Okay. Well, do I detect some kind of um, undercurrent here? Are you, is my daughter falling for this young man? Dad, I've told you. 
I don't have any emotional attachment with him. Trust me, I don't. I see. <laughs> Daddy always been skeptical about things. You would like Fred when you speak with him one on one. Believe me. Ne, our God is good. All the time. <sighs> Hi. Vicky one name. No. I don't know how to thank God for his goodness and mercies in my life and the life of my family. Yes. Ne, remember, the Bible says, those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. My dear, His grace is enough for you. Amen. It is. It is. I'm so happy for you. God has buttered my bread. And sugared my tea. Hey! My dear, I'm so proud of Fred and Sean. They have proven to the whole world that raising children in the fear of God pays. You can say that again. Oh, my dear, I'm so happy for you. Lord, I thank you. I'm so happy for you. I thank God. I thank God for you. Hell. Vicky. But where the people will say that. No one has to be a man. Meaning. I did not offer you anything. <sighs> Don't bother. I'm okay. You rejected me. No, no, no. It's not that, but I'm okay. I'm so bad. Well, since you rejected my offer, I'm going to make a request now. And whatever it is, you're going to provide it for me. Hey! I should make my request. No, 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 no. You win. Just give me more. <laughs> Malt. I'm okay with that. Malt is shaggy. <laughs> no. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, Thank God. Oh. Hi. Hi. Yeah. 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 I want to invite you over to my house this evening for a dinner. Ah, that's kind of urgent. I'm sorry I can't make it. Why? I have a personal engagement at home. This is a special request from my father. From your father? Mm-hmm. He wants to meet you. Oh my God. So should I tell him you're not coming? No, I... I don't have a choice. I mean, it's an honor to be invited by a man of his status. I'll be there. Fine, so... We'll go home together then. Alright. And let me just get to my office, take care of the files on my table, and I'll give you a shot. Okay. I'll let you. Okay. It's normal. You know, I keep wondering what you told your father that made him want to meet me. Well, I told him what you are. A genius and a blessing to the company. Hey, stop, stop, stop with the flattery. <laughs> <laughs> flattery. I'm not very good at that. All right, but I know I'm just like every other person in that office. That's the truth. No, Fred. You're not like every other person in that company. I am telling you, I'm like every other. Oh! Good evening, sir. 
Sandra, why don't you get us something to relax and drink? I'll be back. Uh, yes. Yes, Fred. Fred. So. Good. See, my my daughter spoke quite you know, highly of you, so I'm glad you committed the dinner. <sighs> my pleasure, sir. Yes. So, where are you from? I'm from issues of local government area of Enugu State. Mm. What, what town in particular? Umugwe precisely. Umugwe. I see. Who, who is your father there? Actually, sir, my father is late. His name was Mr. Emeka Mwenye. My mother told me he died before I was born. Emeka Mwenye? Yes, sir. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Fred, I would like for us to talk man to man. Okay, sir. So, I advise you to stay away from my daughter. Now, not just that. Stay away from her business. Okay? See, I do not want to have anyone's blood in my hands. So, stay away. Sir, uh, have I done anything wrong? What, what? Why? See, I don't want to elongate on this matter. But I want to tell you, stay away from my daughter and her business because I do not associate with the son of the murderer. I don't. Yes. Son of a murderer. Did, did my father do anything to you? Leave my house now before I do something that I will ever regret. Now, please. You're scaring me. What's, what's going on? It is a very complicated issue. I can't go into it right now. But I advise you, stay from that boy. Because it's dangerous. And I don't want to associate with the son of a mother. Okay? And I advise you, take this from me seriously. Dad. I'm 
kinanya Iye chukwa kwa dorowe ifuna nyoga deriri Oh